Hey, it's Jeff, and today we're actually going to be playing some actual chess games. Well, if you can call it Ultra Bullet Chess, that is. Um, I kind of quit Ultra Bullet. I have about 250 hours in it, um, and it really took away from studying normal chess for me. But um, I did see that with Puzzle Storm coming out, there is an unofficial leaderboard here, and... To be able to get on it, you have to be in the top 200 at one of these other categories anyway. And I think Ultra Bullet is what I would have the best chance at, at getting to and maintaining 200 since I've been there before. Um, and so that's kind of why this video is coming to you today. So if you're not into Ultra Bullet, not into limited, like, un, um, I guess, uninstructive commentary then I guess you already have clicked away, but we're going to get right into it. I don't know if I should join a tournament or just play matches against people. Um, I, guess, I guess I'll just do matches against people. Let's see, right at point range. Um, I guess I'll do less than 200 and... And as high as they'll let me play. This way, if I play someone that's like underrated, I won't lose too many points. But I also get a chance to win big against people if I beat someone much higher than my rating. Um, okay, also I'm not using keyboard. I know that's kind of a recent topic. I have tried it before, um, and I think it is like really useful to be pretty fast, but... Um, but yeah, I'm not interested in using it now. If it stops me from getting the 2000, I mean top 200 because everyone's using keyboard, I might reconsider, but I don't really plan to play as much Ultra as I did like a few years ago. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I still remember my bullet openings that I copied from Hikaru, but only know to like move three. Sometimes they just miss, yeah, they just miss the, um, that I captured, and so I'm just up a piece for nothing. So that's already a good start. And now I remove the defender when the bishop come back because this square is protected, move back in case they kick my knight. So one thing about ultra is you definitely want to always, um, oh, he flagged. You definitely want to keep your pieces safe. So like, um, like you just anticipate what is the most dangerous thing that they could actually do. Because in a normal game, if they play f6, okay, you know you're just going to move the knight away. But when you're playing Ultra Bullet and you're trying to pre-move everything, nothing else can easily be attacked. Like, none of my other pieces can be attacked in one move. Um, and they, I can do something like this, but that takes two moves, and then it's also a trade. So I would be able to react if they ever played this, and I played something else. I would know I'd just recapture on the next move. But here, the only dangerous move that could happen is f6, so I just move the knight back automatically. So maybe that is kind of instructive if, like, if you're actually trying to play better Ultra Bullet. But I'm not the best Ultra Bullet player at all. Um, but I do, I'll do. i try to be somewhat instructive like that. But that might be the most instructive thing I say all video, if I'm being real. Okay, this is also pretty interesting. They, they tend to go for this, and they bring the queen in and try to threaten mate. I don't know if they'll trick themselves and try to checkmate me. They can take that. Okay, or we can simplify. I'm down with that. Oh, I can't castle. I'm losing all my pieces, but I'm pretty confident I can flag. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'll play him again, though. At the end of the day, you can just flag. Ideally, you went on position and everybody just up a piece again. You always gotta be careful for that when you play these fan kettle setups. So it's nice that not much has changed, at least at this level, when playing Ultra. But it'll be a different story when I get to people that are much faster and possibly using keyboard. Can I get a back ranker? No. I'll just flag, I'll give that check, he has to react to it, but then he's out of time.
Okay, they go. Oh, I guess this is the same opponent. So it's not surprising, or is it? I don't remember. Is this a guy that did that last time? Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, I just killed my queen. Oh, I hung it again. Oh, they can do that. Uh oh. Oh no, there's two queens. There's still a chance. Oh man, I was stalemated. So I need to move something else. But there was a chance, you saw I got that queen. That is very sad. Are you gonna move the bishop anywhere? I like the trade and extra time, oh they do that. I still win this though, oh they get that guy. Let's try to trick him there, oh he's... He's sharp. Gotta be careful. Oh, I need castle to check. But this time I'm, I'm actually gonna flag him. Okay, he goes for this knight move, so we're gonna um do this. See if he pre moves. No, nope, he doesn't. Oh man, the queen is coming in. Oh, that's a dangerous check. Um, oh, it's like flag time. I didn't realize we both had like three seconds. At that point, any semblance of playing normal chess kind of goes out the window. And you don't have to worry about tricks or anything, it's like as long as you're not getting checkmated in the immediate future, you're okay. I'm not scared of that. Or maybe I should be. Oh, I definitely should be. The check will save me. Yeah, that check saved me. I went to the rookie one for years. If I didn't play that, I would lose. I need to stop this um, bishop thing. He doesn't give up the knight. I need to focus up a little bit. That's a free queen for him. He can do a pawn thing. Okay, I guess rook f8 would have been his try. And I'm already forgetting. It's helpful to remember what openings they're playing, so then in the future games, especially for a match like this, you kind of can know on autopilot what you're trying to do. But then you still have to be careful for when they switch it up. Because if they know you know what they're doing, they can easily get you for playing too fast. And that's one thing you get with experience. You get better at dealing with those kind of situations. Ooh, that's not good. We didn't have time. And also I keep the opening simple. Like they're pretty similar games from white and black. So I'm pretty much, it feels like I'm playing the exact same game every time. Okay, that's just three pieces, and he's out of time, so I don't even have to move it immediately. See, this person might be done. We've been going for about 10 minutes now. Yeah, this guy's done. Did I, um... 
I'm still provisional. And where is Ultra? So I need 2079. That's probably not going to happen in this session, but we'll see how close we can get. And actually, like this person's 1800. Like I might just go even with this person. He just quit because I'm provisional and have no other gains in other categories. Oh wait, did I do rematch? I'm a new opponent. Okay, might be able to farm this person. I mouse slipped. I meant to move the pawn two squares. I'm unsure if he's going to take there or not. I don't know if it matters if I just pre-move h6 now, but I'm going to just wait to see what he does. But now he's just going to flag himself. Or is it serious lag and he's going to win? No, he's just gone. Oh, wait, he came back. No, I think he's gone. Join the game. Who am I playing? 2100. Oh, he aborted. Yeah, they're all like, don't want to play. I guess this is one thing where joining the tournament would have been okay, but sometimes you gotta play a minimum number of games to even join the tournament. Also, when I play Ultra, my heart rate goes up a lot. And then my watch tells me I'm dying. It hasn't done it so far. So I think that's good. I wonder if we should go for some cheap stuff. We're not gonna do that every game though. But this person is playing some really risky chess. Ooh, I cannot go there because there's a bishop. Oh, he got me. That was, he could have taken my queen, but it was too fast. Oh, I am flagging. Oh my god, and that was very close. Oh, and I'm not provisional anymore. Oh no, my queen, but it doesn't work. Called Eric Rosen. Okay, get queens off and then I'm happy. Can I do anything? No, that's crazy. Oh man, he got me. I know it doesn't work. Ooh, that worked though, but it. Oh, there we go. We got the queen. That bishop is very bad. Let's see what he wants to do. What is my rank? I don't have it yet. Oh, I need to... My RD has to be in lower to get the rank, I remember. Okay, he's done. Wait, so I only need like 200 points. Or, I forgot already. Oh, it's the same person again. So let's remember his style. He's very crazy and we'll take here. We'll push to see pawn. Actually, he might just not even play. That's kind of what happens when, oh, there we go. So look out for c5 and c4. And maybe we'll just take when he does it. 
Okay, he's just gonna flag. So to the other person, he kind of just left. I don't know what happened. But it's three points for us because he played a move. There was a faster way for me to restart this seek as well. Okay. Oh, he wanted to castle, I guess. I'm waiting for him to push f5. Oh, he does it, but he can't because it's the king. Ooh, that was bad. Ooh, don't do that. Free queen. I gave him a queen, but ooh, he got it back. But he's out of time. It was a nice try, though. Okay, that was a free something. Oh no. Winnable. Oh, that was definitely winnable. Still winnable. He doesn't know about my flagging prowess. Oh man, I almost had him. I kind of slipped somewhere. But then I also didn't have a lot of squares for my king. But I definitely had chances there. Okay, that was some cheap stuff. I knew he would go back to the same square. At that point, you just want to move the rook over, take the other thing, and make sure you're not stalemating them while you flag. Might not see it. He sees it. I want to attack the... Oh, okay, don't want to move the knight anymore. I think we're okay here. Okay, go for some cheap stuff. Doesn't work. Oh, that was bad. Oh, he's out of time. Man, it's scary. Okay, he's done. Um, 1954. Rest in my hands for a little bit while we check the leaderboards. Okay, 2079, um, I guess 1979, so being 100 points under would be decent. Okay, we're at like 20 minutes, though. I mean, maybe I just call it here. I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think I might call it here. But just wanted to get my first, um games to be on video for this account and I'm just kind of like random idea I had just felt like playing so anyway thanks for watching and see you in the next one